This crew is made up of couples. It's the first ever large-scale colonization mission. And everyone back on Earth is really grateful for your hard work and your courage. We're making history here. I play Jacobs, and um, I'm married to Daniels. And um, as far as I know, we're very uh, much in love. And um, I've gone on this mission together. I guess we're fortunate enough to to be married and work together. Um, and um, yeah, we have big plans for the future. This is weird. What are the odds of finding human vegetation this far from Earth? Who planted it? You hear that? What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. Nothing. I think what happens, you know, when you make as many movies as Ridley's done and, and worked with, you know, all the best and you are <laughs> the best that, you know, you, um, you have great confidence in what you, what you want and what you need. And so there's a deceptively um, easy vibe on the set um, because he can sort of pinpoint exactly what he wants from, you know, in, in every department and with the actors and, you know. And so um, you just sort of aim for that and, and he can get everyone there with a very um, easy kind of touch. <laughs> Where is it? Sci-fi horror is a its own particular thing, and I think Alien is one of the movies that really define that genre. And <clears throat> sometimes with horror movies, you'll have these villains or monsters that are fantastical. And you know, if I think back to the horror movies that were made around, you know, a similar time, or when I was watching Alien, you know, um, Freddy Krueger and Jason, you know, were maybe other horror villains. And you look at them now and you think, well, it's kind of silly. But because there's this kind of sci there's this sci-fi background to the, to the monsters in these films, they in a way can feel more realistic that oh, maybe that could actually happen. And there's such a seriousness to the lead, you know, the protagonists in each film that when they're up against these villains, you feel like, oh, this is, they're taking it so seriously that the audience is forced to take it seriously.